Okay, welcome back. In previous class, we talked about data entry and parts of the spreadsheet. In this class, we are talking about, uh, we are still proceeding with the data entry and the basic managing of data files. And um, we noted that uh, sheets are different. And uh, this was our work previously. You can be able to move it like here by simply holding it and dragging it. The sheet five, sheet one is empty, sheet two is empty, sheet three is empty, uh, sheet four is also empty. We entered our data in sheet five. Uh, how can you rename? For instance, you have this sheet, different sheets. You can rename them to whatever is, uh, uh, names you of your choice. Simply go to sheets and right click. How do you right click? This is a left click, this is a right click. You right click uh, in the sheet, given sheet. You right click and then rename. Then I call the test results. You can put it like that. The work is LDL, LDL class results. You know, LDL come from land despite limits and that's the goal to land despite the limits and uh, from here you have, have renamed the, the sheets and after renaming you can as well be able to move simply hold it and drag you hold it like that then you drag it you drag you drag your mouse into somewhere else I'm dragging it to somewhere between sheet 1 and sheet 2 it's there test the results then I can hold it and drag it to uh, to be the first sheet over there. Then I can decide the second sheet. From here, let's put something else. For instance, we are talking about uh, 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 budget of basic budget of just a party for a party. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, so you have uh, item. Uh, serial number let's put it again serial number let me put caps lock uh, I can be able to use a keyboard by the way let me use a keyboard and we can enter it together um, on screen keyboard you can simply come and uh, uh, use uh, uh, on a screen keyboard like this one and then simply I want to enter data from here caps lock serial number and then number one and I can hold from this uh, corner over here and apply to six and then choose fill out of fill I have my five items can I repeat it again I want I want to repeat this. I put number one, then come in the corner here. If you choose this, you are moving. You are choosing the whole column, the whole cell. If you hold it on the corner of the cell, look look carefully. Let me clear the whole thing. I have put serial number and then put here number one. Then come to the corner like this, hold it down, then apply. Then I will simply come here and choose in the corner and choose fill series one to four okay i've entered the data then this is item uh, maybe food drinks uh what else something for a party 
uh, we could have food we can have drinks maybe another budget for uh, the hall uh, maybe uh, uh, something else uh, maybe uh, music and I would want to have those as item and then cost or price uh-huh for food I want uh, to have 100,000 100,000 okay this is money this is 10,000 how do I differentiate between 100,000 and 10,000 simply select them and put a separator it's over here in the number and if I want to reduce the decimal places I can come like that so that's 100,000 for drinks I'll have 25,000 for a whole I will need uh, maybe 35,000 And for music, I'll need the 15,000. Hmm. The total budget for, it, for the party. Okay. Now, I have my simple budget. Can you try enter such budget? Can you put uh, something like that so that we can do together? The first one, try entering test the results then try put uh, a simple budget like that one can you try it okay welcome back I am sure you have put a pause and you have tried entering such simple budget and this bring us to another more interesting part of an excel spreadsheet it is easier to make calculation this is because you can be able to simply you can be able to simply select the data and have total okay and how can you get do that an normal circumstance for you to get summation of this plus that plus that you would have used a piece of paper and calculate and put data total and put it there but excel has more interesting thing and that is the ability for you to create a formula you know in creating a formula and functions uh, there are so many formulas and so many functions that are there in Excel spreadsheet for instance this whole book is full of function there's a function reference for Microsoft all this is all full of function but I cannot teach all the function at, at the go in fact the easier way to help anyone to learn functions and formulas is to have the basic understanding of what a formula is and uh, and how can you write one and another circumstance you would argue that uh, if you want a, some a total of this one okay if you would want the total of this one simply you would go and have uh, a sum or total so the formula that you'll come up with simply starts always with an equal sign if you write any formula in Excel you start with an equal sign okay equals so Excel know that you want now to put a formula and um, what do you want me to put here I would want you to come and capture this one then plus how do you good go for plus you go hold shift and uh, plus sign plus this one c uh, d2 
C2 D2 plus E2. How, where do I see this? All this is visible in your formula bar. You can notice the moment you are writing a formula, it is always visit, visible in a formula bar. Then after that, press enter. Wow. So there is a total over there. And then I will come in the corner over here and hold it down and drag to apply. Fantastic. Every total is there. It doesn't matter even if there would be, have been 10,000. Still, they would have been have total at the moment. The same applies to the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 budget of my party. You can as well go to sum over here and choose function and choose summation. Sum of this up to there okay equal you can see the formula is equal sign um then sum then open bracket from the top to the bottom then close bracket and then press enter there's a top here is a total to 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 that changes with the, with this if i would have changed my 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 grand total for simply food and say ah that was undercoated so i want it to be 120 120 000 shillings you can see even my total changes if your music was undercoated and i want it to be 38 000 you can see even my total also change over here please not over here my total also changes if i say drinks change to uh, forty five thousand, you can see that even my total also change this make it easier for an accountant this make it easier for a teacher if you want to review the marks ali never got 21 but still he scored 89 even the total for ali changes uh rehema never got 99 she got 27 instead even the total changes oh that was a mistake not, not 27 but rather 72 then also the total changes and uh with that try um remember that um whenever you are writing any formula it is the argument that you think on your brain starts with an echo sign then follows that argument based on the columns or rows that you have remember the columns are named alphabetically column a column b column c column d column e and so on the rows are named uh, vertically but uh, row number one number two number three number four number five and so on but each box or each cell is usually a cross section of a column and a row and so you simply uh, choose the column and a row together makes a cell and the cell that you're touching becomes an active cell which is usually displayed in a name box so whenever you're writing a formula i'm clearing this uh, you simply go to eco sign uh, and then choose I want to take this one plus that one plus that one and then press enter then come choose that and apply down Wow in the coming class we will proceed with other formulas okay so you have the total in both ends of the columns and of the rows in the coming class we'll proceed with more addition please practice that first Elisha Elias Lama is my name and see you soon